St. Lucia is turning the corner in this latest wave of COVID-19. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Early Affairs is reporting a reduction in the transmission rate, hospitalization rates, positivity rates and prevalence rates. Moreover, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar-George forecasts average resolution of this fourth wave by November 2021. However, this can only be achieved if there are no major increases in risk for new transmission. The daily infection rate for the past week was 22.1 per 100,000 per day, which is a 68% decrease from the previous week. We note a steady decline in the rate of transmission at this point with a present rate of 1.3. We continue to note cases diagnosed related to social activities, workplaces, and spread between families. To date, the positive cases diagnosed in country, less than 2% of them are fully vaccinated, and 98% of the COVID-19 deaths and COVID-related deaths at the respiratory hospital were unvaccinated. The 2% deaths who were fully vaccinated had other serious underlying health conditions which contributed to their demise. Since the fourth wave began July 25, 2021, there have been 133 COVID-19 deaths, on average three deaths daily with a case fatality rate of 2.1%. Males account for 56% of the deaths. There has been an increase in severe cases, admissions and deaths from the southwestern zone of the country, which also corresponds to the areas of low vaccination uptake. The Ministry of Health will be doubling efforts with the implementation of specific interventions to address this issue, particularly as more cases of the dangerous Delta variant are recorded here. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs received a notification from the Caribbean Public Health Agency of nine new cases of the Delta variant. All of the cases are nationals from across the island. Seven of them are female, two are male, and the ages range from 25 to 69 years. We continue to ask the public to work with us and exhibit responsible behavior to manage this fourth wave. Let us all take personal responsibility to keep ourselves and families safe. We continue to have available both the Pfizer and the AstraZeneca vaccine free of charge in country at the various wellness centers. These vaccines have been proven to be safe and effective in protecting persons from developing COVID-19 in its severe forms, complications, hospitalizations, and death. Parents are also encouraged to vaccinate their children from 12 years and older. Let us make the educational environment safer. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar-George.